What's up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today, we are actually just like a normal daily vlog, but we're trying out our new camera that we got to see how we like it. How do we look? For me, it looks gorgeous. Do I look prettier? Of course, yours looks pretty, though. More crisp, I can move around. Oh yeah. And it's not blurry. And then I can get to real close on you and it's like a super shallow depth of field. So we're in St. Pete. It is my birthday weekend and we are trying something new and trying some food that we saw from Detour Duo. I don't really know what it is yet, but this is what Fame picked out, so. So yeah, let's go check it out and see how good it is because from their video that we watched, it looks really good. So this place is called Four Cheesy. Isn't it Faux Cheesy? Faux Cheesy, you're right, you're right. Four Cheesy. Oh my gosh, please go. It's my birthday, I can do whatever I want. Yesterday was your birthday. Yeah, but it's my birthday weekend. This is so dope. Like, look at this wall art. And you guys can hear the music playing. And they just have like a lot of cool like decor in here. They have a car hanging from the ceiling, a bike. The back walls is all cassettes. Tony and Sarah definitely knew what they were talking about when they came here. They know how to find good places. Like, yeah. I already know it's gonna be good because of them, but it just looks so cool in here. I already know I'm gonna like pass out after we eat this too. Back on ship shape tomorrow. <laughs> and then here's the menu of everything they have to offer, which looks so good. We had a hard time deciding. I also noticed they have a Thundercat sword here, and they're playing Ludacris, which is my one of my favorite rap artists. Are we moving here? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I already counted our lease and everything. They also have stuff called Purple Drink. I need, I want to try that. I feel like we need to spend like two days in St. Pete so we can try like everything on this menu. I agree. I'll book a hotel for tonight and just take off work tomorrow. Let's take off, yeah. Um. Laura, what did, I didn't realize we ordered so much food. This is above my calorie budget. I'm intimidated. Like that grilled cheese looks bussin'. Does everything here looks bussin'. I kind of feel bad because this is a little bit too many calories. Happy here. freaking birthday. Thank you. But look at these wings. These are the peanut butter and jelly wings. I'll tell you guys what we got. So Thane obviously got the peanut butter and jelly wings. I got the mac and rib. So it has sharp cheddar, barbecue, pulled pork shoulder, smoked bacon, mac and cheese, crispy onion, and honey drunk barbecue. We got some tater tots on the side. We got something from the side action part of the menu called the Mac Daddy Rolls, which are Cheeto dusted faux cheesy mac and cheese egg roll. Bro, we're not gonna be able to get it. We're not making it back to Orlando. We're gonna have to go sleep somewhere. And what did you get for dessert? Apple bottom rolls, Dutch apple pie, New York cheesecake, egg roll, churro sugar, strudel crumb whipped cream, salted caramel, and sticky icky drizzle. It says sticky icky icky? Bro, I'm in love with this place. I feel like this should be in Atlanta. I'm glad this isn't close to us, to be honest. All right, we're gonna try the tots. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. Mm. Like Zach's sweet sauce, but like, Better. Time for the main uh, attraction of the show. Please don't judge me for getting this all over my face. Is it good? The bread, so crispy. This is so good. Now try one of the wings right here. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> I feel like Keith Lee on TikTok. He eats like all the food reviews. This is so good. And the thing is, I, when I used to live here, or well, used to live in Orlando, they I went to a place that made PB&J wings and I just checked and they didn't have any left. I'm kind of like reliving, like living that high. Look and there's even that. sauces, but it doesn't need a sauce. The, I think this is jelly, fame, for you to dip them in. Bro, I don't need it. Like, we need to book a hotel tonight. So I got this thing called the purple drink. The guy at the counter said, if you mix it with a little bit of Sprite, it's really good. So I'm gonna try it. It's good. It reminds, remember on Margaritaville, the drinks tasted like um, those Frieza Pops you cut open? Yeah. This tastes like that, but in a good way. Okay, I got scared when you said Margaritaville. I couldn't drink a lot of these because it's pretty sweet, but I definitely recommend at least trying it. It reminds me of my um, Violet Softy that I like from yeah. Epcot. It slightly tastes like it. What, the, the sake? Mm -hmm. Very oh. slightly. This is right, right up your alley. Bro, they keep playing the bangers. I'm sorry. It's pretty good. Do we want to talk about how good that food was? And also, preference, we did not eat all the food. Most of the food's in here. Because I know someone's going to comment, I can't believe you can eat all that. Yeah. We can't. It's pretty much all the wings in here. But we're going to make our move on these apple egg roll things. Apple bottom rolls, I yeah. think. Is what With sticky called. icky. Do you want to do the honors? You want, do you, I think they might have a knife or a fork or something. Oh my god. They're bigger than I thought. That's what she said. <laughs> Is it good? 
Look at that. It's like an apple pie. Wow. Is that good? It's so crispy on the outside too. Are you unwell? Honestly, I ate like probably half my food and I'm still just like, yeah, I feel the same yeah, way. Yeah, I can't breathe. If you're in the area of St. Pete, make sure you check out Fo Cheesy because it is a nice comfort Definitely food. Definitely a cheat meal. Don't eat this and then plan to go do other things. Or if you go out drinking in the city of St. Pete, there's some bars down that way. You can come here after because they're open late. This would be a perfect spot. They're literally open till 3 a.m. on Friday and Saturday. They know what they're doing with that. That food was absolutely incredible. It was so good. For us, that's gonna be a once in a very long time, long time type of thing. Like maybe like once or twice a year. It's so filling, it's so rich. Definitely recommend trying it out, but I, I can't eat that stuff all the time. No, because like I just feel like sluggish and tired and we've been trying to eat clean. That was a nice treat, but no. It affects me so much more when I'm like eating healthier when I like have something like that. I feel like it just immediately zaps all my energy and I'm just like, okay, let's go to bed. And it doesn't feel good. Like honestly, it was like really, really good. I kind of have a regret about eating it because I feel, don't feel the best. I don't, I feel lethargic right now and it's not exactly how I want to like to live my life. But now we are at if I brewed the world to try some of Detour Duo's recommended beer. Cause Tony said he has a favorite beer here and so I want to try that too. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to drink beer right now. Especially after last night's festivities with Vanessa. Happy birthday! But surprise, we're actually hanging out with Detour Yay! Duo. Hello! Kings are recommending amazing food. You are so yeah. welcome. Juicy. I know what you're asking. Is this the best food in St. Pete? Probably not, but it is to us at least. And I mean, have we steered you wrong yet? And we're gonna break this into four sections, starting with some breakfast and coffee spots, where we recommend for lunch, some great dinner places, and some damn good desserts. Let's start with the most important meal of the day, breakfast. But thank you so much. And yeah, we're just hanging out at one of the breweries they recommended, as we said earlier. And I'm excited to try this beer. I like it. It's low-key. Hold on. You got, you're, you have, you're on the mic, Bob. I like it. It's low-key. <laughs> that's what I prefer. Laura says she likes it. It's low-key. That's what she prefers. <laughs> what did you guys get? I got a horchata, which is new for me. I sampled like three, but I settled on the horchata one. I sampled a couple. I went with Old Faithful, Old Faithful which is Berry Crunch. This is my favorite beer. Is that the one I was like, I need to try that? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm going to get that, you're, too. You're going to want to get that, too. Yeah, but definitely try like a few of them. Okay. Jeez, Detour Duo picks all the best spots. I'm gonna try this Berry Crunch Wheat Beer. That sounds good, I've been wanting to come try that. It is dog friendly. They have like shuffleboard and all that. I love this. This is a cool, cool little place. And they're doing soccer bombs down there. Oh my here. God. This is the, the Berry Crunch, the Berry Crunch Wheat. It tastes just like Captain Crunch. And then this one right here, is butter beer. I can't get over the smells of these things. Like they literally smell so good before you even taste it. That reminds me of like a Guinness mixed with like coffee or something. I found my winner. Per YouTube etiquette, we obviously did not film everything that we should have filmed for a video, but it was nice seeing them. That brewery, like super like intimate and just like the owner is fantastic. We'll definitely be back there. And it was so good. We bought a four pack of the Berry Crunch beer because we wanted to support lo small businesses and also like, it was just really good. And next time we go, I will be trying their Saki Bomb. If you haven't already, make sure you go check out Detour Duo's videos. The link will be in the description down below. Make dope content, a lot better editor than I am. I enjoy watching their videos and, that's, and the reason why we are here testing out this camera is because of them. And they have a whole video on like places to eat and drink in St. Pete. They include a lot of places in that. So definitely go check that out. That's where we got these ideas. From. And not even St. Pete, just like all around oh, like, yeah, the everywhere. East Coast. So. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We're going to close it out. We have to drive back to Orlando. Two hours, an hour and a half, two hours. But we'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.